Welcome back to the Michigan Business Speed, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, coming to you from the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, and that's because the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce has their annual policy conference here. And, of course, policy and I guess the auto industry, the mobility industry, I mean, that's top of mind, right? Jose Flores is with us right now from uh, Anchor Automotive. Uh, it, tell us about Anchor Automotive. Anchor Automotive, Grace, is the data management software for the automotive sector, uh, sector that also does manufacturing. So we do all the labels for the cars, but also we with everything that is going on and the electric revolution on the cars, we also pivot our company to be more software-defined vehicle company. Okay, so you, you're on the IT end of all this, right? Yes, and it's a very interesting time to be transitioning because, as I said, 40-year-old traditional manufacturing company moving into a software-defined vehicle arena with blockchain technology, AI, it's very interesting. Yeah, and we're adapting to a situation that put us in kind of a negative circumstance, as a matter of fact. So how long have you been around and, and how's your progress been? I, uh, I've been around with Anchor Automotive uh, for the last two years. We opened our innovation hub, as, as, as you know, uh, last year in May. And our progress, it has been great. We have a full innovation team dedicated just to create ideas and solve the challenges and pain points that the auto manufacturers and the EV startups are coming up with. Uh, we came up with the Batman, the battery management system. Yeah. So that's uh, previously called battery passport, as we discussed. Uh, that's done. It's, it's very impressive because right now, you track from cradle to grave all the supply chain of the battery to the recycling point. And right now with the regulations that are coming, and that's what why we're here, politicians, government, and business guys, to, to, to see where we're going. With the regulations that are coming on 2025, someone needs to make sure that the batteries are compliant, recycled, 13% recycled cobalt, green mining, no child labor. There's a lot of regulations. So... The Batman basically tracks along the supply chain every single step, creates a block through blockchain technology. Make sure you're in compliance. Make sure you're in compliance and creates a digital twin that also for the use uh, car business, if you're in like shopping for, for used cars, you want to make sure that your battery is, is safe because the battery is embedded to the chassis of the car mm-hmm. in most of the electrical vehicles. So, so you guys have had growth. You're making money. I'm presuming you're making where we're trying, yeah. Well, this is important. I mean, you know, it's because a lot of companies, especially on the IT end, don't make money for several years, but they're growing like crazy, which means they're going to. And I would presume you're kind of in that circle. Yeah, we're 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 definitely uh, betting on on the software arena. We we have Anchor of Manufacturing that it's a huge supporter, yeah. uh, and we know that our software solutions are going to to be something that will change and redefine the software defined vehicle arena, definitely. Yeah, it's a super growth and a super story, as a matter of fact. So uh, are you an IT guy? Is that what you were trained in? Is that what- so, so my major, actually, my major is business and IT engineering. Oh, wow. So I'm a business guy that happens to be an engineer that happens to know how to code as well. well it's, it's a perfect background. Right? It's a very interesting background. I started as an industrial engineering, and then I saw that, and I'm like, I think that's more me. I tend more towards the business side, but also critically important as well. I understand the IT side. I understand the code. I know how to do it. I understand the structure. Well, and, and I would say you're like an ongoing, it's like painting a bridge because things change so much in your industry. Uh, companies don't have you come in, fix something and get out. You, you're you going to stay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's right. And, and you just said it like things are moving so fast and everyone is trying to figure it out on this EV race that I call that you need to be able to have a company that is strong enough, but lean enough as well, that can adapt and pivot. Yeah, yeah. Well, and technology is making us capable of being more lean and get things done. Tell me a little bit about your personal background, where you're from, how you gravitated to this. So I'm from Monterey, Mexico. I came to Detroit uh, eight years ago. I have always been very passionate about the automotive industry. I'm a huge car fan. Uh, the Mustang is my favorite car, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, huge endorsement. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, so, huge car fan. Um, 
I came eight years ago to the automation business, which is a very, very difficult business because you're doing assembly lines for the tier one companies. Yeah. You're creating like assembly with robots, programming everything. And I, I was very passionate about it. And and then I decided to take a leap of faith and acquire a company that happened to be a traditional company and flip it into a software company. Wow. So your degrees are from Mexico. My degree is from Mexico. I'm currently uh, doing my executive master's at Michigan State. So I need to go back. Actually, tomorrow I have classes. Go green. Uh, so, go white. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, my, 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 my title is, is from Mexico and right now MSU. Well, I have to tell you, you are a great example, uh, honestly, of what we need to do with that border down there for one thing and get the talent that we need to come in. So. Yeah. And, and and I think that's it. You just nailed it there. I think that's the whole topic about the conference is bridging the future together. How politicians, business persons, we get together and we just don't talk about it. We make it happen. How do we make it happen? Yeah, that's important. Jose Flores, uh, Anchor Automotive. Thanks for what you're doing, bud. And thanks for coming here. We Not look for forward to you it. Again, Chris. All right. Well, you'll be back next year. There All you right? go. All right. Chris Holman, you're watching the Michigan Business Speed on the Michigan Business Network, which is coming to you from the Grand Hotel and the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce's annual policy conference. We'll be back with more. <laughs>